Hi everyone, today I'll go over creating a masonry image gallery with our website.com web editor. A masonry image gallery is a great way to display a chunk of images in one place. To add a masonry image gallery, we can start here from the web editor and then go to the add section of the sidebar. From here, we'll go to the section that says gallery and then masonry. You'll notice we have two different options available for the masonry gallery, one with captions and one without. Don't worry, the gallery can be customized later using the panel box. So I'll select the one without captions for now. You'll see it appears on my mouse. So I can scroll down and how about I place this here. I'll scroll down a little bit further and I'll just move the size of my content section down a little bit more. Now if I select the gallery, you'll see the panel box appears on the right. From here, we have a few different options we can use to customize the gallery. The first is Manage Images, so I can click on that. Here we can manage what images are displayed, as well as rearrange the order of the images. To rearrange the order of the images, you can simply click and drag to change the images around. You can also add an image from here. You can either upload your own images or choose from our diverse library of stock images. And you can see my rearranged images are different here. Next we have Change Design. And here you can change what kind of gallery you have. So you can change it to a slideshow, a different kind of masonry, a grid, or tiles. Below that we have Layout, which allows us to customize the number of columns and the spacing between the images in the gallery. So you can see here we have three columns and zero pixel spacing, so how about we bump that up to say three, and you'll notice that change is reflected here. We have three pixels in between all of our images. So we can go back. The next we have shuffle images. So we can click on this and this will shuffle the images around in our masonry gallery. Next we have style. And here we can customize a few different stylistic elements of the masonry gallery, such as border, shadow, caption effects, and fonts. Next we have size and position. And here you can customize the size and the position of the masonry gallery on the page. Finally, we have Web Optimized and Show on All Pages. Web Optimized will help load your images faster. And if we click Show on All Pages, it will make this element show up on all pages in the same location. The last thing I want to talk about is Captions. So if I go up here to Manage Images, I can set descriptions for my images and those will display as captions on my gallery. And that was the Masonry Gallery. If you have any more questions, check out our other tutorials or contact our support. Thanks for watching.